helping yourself is the most difficult and rewarding thing you'll ever have to do my name is Michaela Rosabeth and in today's episode you're going to learn about what is never spoken about the self-help journey and we are live welcome back to rosabeth moon motivation where, where you'll, you'll find positive affirmations self-help tips and tricks and personal stories about how i healed from all my diagnoses right major depressive disorder anxiety etc etc my right. name is Michaela Rosabeth, and welcome to episode 18 of season one. Oh my gosh, how are you doing today? I am doing really well. Please let me know in the comments what you think about the Monday, Wednesday, Friday with Affirmation Sunday episodes. And also quick shout out to our sponsor of today's episode, Moon Magic Botanicals at rosabethmoon.com. Today's episode, we're going to talk about what is never spoken about in the self-help journey. My entire channel and mission in my company and in my channel and my creation is to help people help themselves by showing how I helped myself. And in the self-help journey, there's so many people out there spreading a really great word, which very grateful about. Don't get me wrong. Very humble for everybody who came before me. And I am a little different, right? I wanted to talk about the parts that suck and the parts that don't. I want to give, give you the ins and outs of exactly how you can curate your best self-help. Se bleh. Go back. <laughs> I want to talk about how you can best help yourself and curate your best self-help journey. And by doing that, you should know what people don't talk about and the hard stuff behind it. So... so we're going to jump right into it. Self-help is all about you. It's, it's about, about helping, helping yourself improve, get over challenges, and become successful in whatever way you see that fit. In today's episode, we have three points. Point one, self-help is not for the weak. Point two, beginning a self-help journey is going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done in your life. And then lastly, on the third, we're going to have tips and tricks on how to make it easier. Awesome. Tip number, so point number one, right? Self-help is not for the weak, okay? If you're watching this and listening to this, that means that you have undergone some of the worst things that you possibly can in this human existence. You have undergone challenges and fears and anxieties and who knows the amount of extent that you've gone through except for yourself and it has been some of the worst of the worst but, but the, the fact that you are here with me right now tells me that you have the traits of somebody with perseverance prosperity and strength it tells me that you can get up from the worst of the worst face yourself face your challenges and actually begin your self-help journey that's not somebody who's weak. That's somebody who is strong. When you begin your self-help journey, you're going to be facing the hardest and darkest parts of yourself. Okay? This is not something that a lot of people necessarily completely talk about because when you face the darkest parts of yourself, a lot of stuff comes up. Scientifically, according to Carl Jung, who is a renowned psychologist, there's a part of you called your shadow self. Your, your shadow, shadow self, self is the part of you that you repress, you deny, and you hide from yourself and others. In spiritual texts, in spiritual terms, they call this part of yourself your demons. It's the parts of you that you generate enough energy that it manifests itself into reality, and now you have to handle it. In religious texts, they also call it your demons, but they have a different sense of the term. This deep, dark part of yourself in religious texts is when you have demons and spirits coming at you and influencing you in a maleficent and evil manner. In your self-help journey, you have to face the darkest side of yourself. In whatever belief system you have, you're going to have to do it. And 
this is a critical, critical point that nobody talks about because facing the darkest, deepest parts of yourself that you've repented and and have kicked back inside of you and up until this point that you are watching this video, <laughs> they're going to come out. You're going to have to look them in the face. You're going to have to look them in the eye, right? And that leads to point number two. But so before, before we, we get into that, I do want to shout out our sponsor, Moon Magic Botanicals. Look how cute. Hold on, let the camera focus. If it doesn't, that is a okay. But look how cute this is. This is the Natural Skin Moisturizer Sample. Look how cute. <laughs> look how cute it is. I had a lot of feedback and a lot of people really wanted to try the Natural Skin Moisturizers but the natural skin moisturizers are marked at a higher price point simply because they are organic natural ingredients that are created from not having any kind of additives additives chemicals anything like that this is what it looks like right it's completely natural and it's made from amazing ingredients that are anti-inflammatory antibacterial all they're really designed to do is to help your skin in every way, shape, and form. They are the ultimate type of moisturizer. I use it on my hands. I have clients that use it on their feet. I have family that uses it on their cystic acne and psoriasis. It's really, really great, and I now have samples of it available for you if you would prefer to try it out first. Also, these are amazing little travel compact sizes that I keep and I take traveling with me, as an FYI. Check it out at Moon Magic Botanicals at rosabethmoon.com. The moon has three O's in it, just like the podcast. And let's jump right back into the video. Point number two. This self-help journey is going to push you harder than anything in your entire life. When you start to face the side of yourself that you have hidden from you and kept back and not faced, I will tell you that it's going to be difficult. And why, right? Well, you guessed it. Here's the scientific backing. <laughs> we talked about this in the how to find your passions episode and how to help yourself episode. So what happens is when you start facing challenges, your brain actually starts having activity. Scientifically speaking, your brain has a part called the prefrontal cortex. And the prefrontal cortex is known for your habits. It's known for your thoughts and it's known for your planning simply put though when you are changing and facing the things and your demons and your shadows that you have never faced before your brain your prefrontal cortex reacts by throwing a fit because its natural habitual patterns are being threatened and, and the, the symptoms, symptoms of that is anxiety fear depression Literally, your brain will throw a fit and will emote it with negative and rough feelings. This is why the saying goes, old habits die hard. It's literally the brain reacting. But the best part is that the brain is meant to adapt and grow alongside you. While yes, it will throw a temper tantrum and it will be difficult, you now understand what is happening as you're facing those demons. So from a science perspective, spiritual perspective, agnostic perspective, all the above, what's happening is that your brain doesn't want to change. Your body doesn't want to change. But since you want to change, that's the important part because you're in control of your brain, right? Best advice for that is to keep your eye on the prize. Help yourself become the best version of success. That's the key, right? Point number three, the last one, some tips and tricks just to make your self-help journey easier, especially when you're facing these things that nobody talks about, the darker parts of yourself, how your body is going to start throwing fits <laughs> because it doesn't want to change, it doesn't want to change its networks, right, is three things, okay? One, don't beat yourself up when your brain and your body reacts to things. It's humans natural ability and instinct to feel feelings 
and it's our brains and our body's response when we feel those feelings. We clearly, and you clearly are feeling the need for change because you have watched the self-help episode this far, which thank you immensely appreciative of you, by the way. So I know, and you should also know that you got this. You can handle this. Don't, don't beat yourself up because you know things are getting better. Number two, tip number two is just breathe through the discomfort. I definitely want to make a video on the parasympathetic nervous system, but for now, I'll leave you with this. When you feel discomfort and anxiety and the negative emotions that are going to come up when you're going to change, just breathe. Just breathe through it, right? And if you're not connected to your body, then I definitely would recommend to check out some of my other episodes because I do have some tips and tricks to connect into your body. Check out acupuncture and EFT tapping. Those are my faves. So breathe through them, right? And tip number three is a controversial one, which is A-OK, right? View your shadows and demons as positive attributes to your life. Don't view them as something you want to restrict because your demons and your shadow is actually showing you what you need to heal and what you need to work on in order to become successful, right? One of mine was binge eating. I have had had a binge eating disorder and one of my shadows was because I felt like I was never enough and so I had to keep eating my feelings away because I wasn't ever enough to speak my feelings. And so when I faced that, I realized that I was addicted to food. Also, I hadn't really ever come across the the part where my voice was important and that's okay, right? And me realizing that these are the shadows led me to realizing that those were the issues which led me to realizing which we talked about the trail of why, right? In like episode three, I followed it all the way back and I realized I just simply had this demon and had this manifestation and had this shadow self because I felt like I wasn't enough to speak my truth. So I shoved it with food and now I don't. Actually, Actually, out of this episode, I've lost 96 pounds total. So that's great. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Remember, you have the power of choice, right? You have the power to understand what is happening in your self-help journey and the rough parts of it, and you can get through it. My name again is Michaela Roosevelt. Thank you so much for coming and spending today with me. I'm immensely grateful for you. Please make sure to check out Moon Magic Botanicals, our all-natural and organic skincare over at rosebethmoon.com. And... Please let me know what you think. In the description below, there is an article tied to this video with all the references of everything and all the science that I spewed and all the good stuff, all the information. I am grateful and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye.